Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at uh, PAFX. I hope you all had a great trading week. I'm looking forward for the upcoming week and uh, as usual guys we're gonna take a look at all the majors including gold and oil. And uh, yeah while I roll the intro and disclaimer please 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 hit that like button for me it helps a lot and uh, if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys, um, a quick look at the calendar, um, nothing happening until Wednesday as major news events, so uh, Wednesday we're going to have the uh, core retail sales month to month, we're going to have the FOMC as well from the US, also the press conference, uh, so Wednesday is going to be an important day uh, for the US dollar. Uh, Thursday also an important day for many um, countries. New Zealand, we're going to get the GDP uh, quarter and quarter. We're going to have employment change and unemployment rate for the Aussie monetary policy statement for the JAP. I'm not expecting fireworks at all there. And we have the MPC official bank rate vote for the uh, sterling, the monetary policy summary and the official bank rate. Um, this is going to be important as well. We do not have a press conference, but um, could be um, a little bit of a mover for uh, this market. Um, that's it for the news event. So we start with the Dixie as usual, and we are looking at the weekly time frame. And uh, if you've been watching my overviews, you know that we're still looking at this uh, key support level on the weekly chart that is uh, holding at the moment. As you see here, we do have um, a couple of uh, bullish weeks here at this level. There is still no break below, but uh, also no break above the range that we were looking at. Uh, keep in mind that the RSI been at the oversold territory on the weekly time frame. That is a big deal. It was at the extremes and now it's reversing back up we are trading at around the uh, 33.5 um, on the RSI looking on the daily time frame we start seeing this um, uh, potential bottom establishing and we do have a bullish divergence on the RSI what we still do not have is the break and hold above this uh, previous structure here this need to happen as I said for that continuation move to the upside and that is what I'm looking for if we go uh, even lower we see that on the one hour time frame we have a break above the 200 moving average for the first time so since we broke below here and did this retest this market kept pushing below the 200 moving average and holding below it but uh, last week we had a break above the 200 moving average a retest and still holding above that I'm still waiting for that break above the structure for that continuation. I am already long dollar, but if you want to play it safe, you need to see that confirmation, the break above structure. Looking at oil and going to the daily time frame, we see that oil still have a little bit uh, room down toward this area here. I think this is the market objective for the bears, at least the 34 area is uh, what I'm thinking is a possible market objective and uh, as we uh, look on the four hour time frame we see that we have a, uh, a trend now on the four hour time frame which is uh, a bearish trend and uh, I'm still looking for that continuation down toward this area so any failure to break above this neckline next week could be a potential area to sell and target at around 34 35 area down here on uh, this uh, market gold nothing new here on gold we're looking on the daily time frame we're still looking at a potential descending triangle with lower highs and equal lows um, and i'm expecting a break below retest and then a market objective toward the 1800 uh, is what i'm watching for uh, keep in mind this is a uh, strongly bullish market still and uh, this whole thing even if this um, break below happens it could be a uh, just a correction for a continuation but keep in mind on the weekly time frame we are so far away from the 200 moving average on this time frame which means we, the, the the value is somewhere here in these areas and uh, we are so far away from it if you look at 
the distance between the 200 moving average and where the price is this is something i teach in my in my uh, trading course and we talk about this a lot uh, it happened here before as you see if we look at the distance here uh, after this parabolic move uh, the market uh, start uh, going in consolidation and then uh, went back to value down here so um, I'm expecting the same the question is how big of a consolidation we're gonna have before um, we reach that 200 moving average and as I said all in all on the daily time frame seems like we may have uh, a break below and then continuation toward the 200 even on the daily time frame we are far away from the 200 moving average and every time that happens the market tends to go back to that moving average this happens again and we go back to that moving average and so on so uh, keep that in mind uh, gold is um, a bit uh, overbought now and uh, it need to do some kind of a correction euro usd looking on the weekly time frame we see that we start having a little bit of a trouble here all the rejections or this week's are coming from the upside rsi was at the extremely overbought uh, looking left we reached an area of interest on the weekly time frame going down to the daily we see that we have a nice little bullish channel but uh, there is also a strong bearish divergence on this market uh, last week we've got another rejection back to the downside here which made a lower high here in place and uh, what i'm still looking for for that confirmation is to see a break below the structure to then look for a continuation on this market i am already short but um it is not a safe trade yet so uh, if you need to play it safe you still need to wait for that break then look for a retest and a continuation first target at around uh, 1.14500 this is the first target um, in my opinion uh, sterling jap uh, sterling usd this market been uh, bearish uh, since uh, the retest of this uh, major structure here and keep in mind the last time we've been at this level it got rejected got consolidation and a big dip to the downside now uh, this market been bullish for a while went higher highs higher lows all the way here and um, yeah a correction is in place and where the market is testing right now could be a potential support area looking left this market uh, tested this level before many times and um, it could act as uh, support again so it's been working nicely as support and resistance as you see here many times this level been tested we do also have the 200 moving average on the daily near that area so keep that in mind and uh, we've almost done a 50% uh, or more uh, retracement here uh, on this leg if we measure uh, we are measuring right now this leg only and uh, that leg done a almost 618 uh, retracement the 618 is a little bit lower here at around the 200 moving average on the um, <coughs> on the daily time frame going down to the four hour we see that uh, this market did break a uh, an important uh, support level break that did a retest and a continuation so any retest toward this area without a breaking a new high we could see potential continue uh, sell on this market usd jappy nothing new we're still inside this range that i've been mentioning for a while so uh, the best way is to sell 107 and buy 105 everything is in between here is possible because we are in the mid range so uh, it is pretty easy for this market to move down to 105 pretty easy for this market to move up to 107 so uh, the best way would be to play these uh, edges of this range until you have a break out of it uh, otherwise um, it could be a little bit tricky usd chief also still inside the range looking on the daily time frame we also have a potential bottom establishing here what i want to see to be sure about this bottom that getting establishing is a higher low to start happening here we do have a potential higher low but i would like to see a bullish candle here at least to call it a, a higher low here but all in all we're still inside this range and nothing will happen until we uh, break out of it uh, from this area so uh, for uh, for the bulls they need to break above this previous high above the top of the range to then look for a continuation to the upside bears need to break 
below support uh, below the bottom of the range for that continuation to the downside uh, USD CAD looking on the daily time frame we know that uh, we've uh, tested an important level uh, here looking left uh, this area been acting as nice support previously and uh, we've got a retest of this leg level and a bounce from that area so on the daily time frame we do have already a broken structure a higher high we do have a higher low as well and if we go down to the four hour time frame we see it more clearly we have a swing high higher low another break higher failed to break above the 200 moving average which could be a good uh, filter to watch so uh, a close uh, above the 200 moving average on the four hour could be your signal for that continuation uh, on this market as for now uh, struggling here it could give you another push to the downside though and the most important level still down here this previous swing low down here is the major support so for the bulls you need to see a break above the 200 moving average a break above this previous structure then you could look for a reversal maybe a longer term reversal to the upside on this market Aussie USD looking on the daily time frame we see that uh, after reaching uh, this stop here looking left uh, this area been acting uh, as uh, resistance so we reached this level we've got a push to the downside but there was no continuation we still uh, see this market stuck at the 200 moving average once again pushing back up building up for some kind of a breakout but if they fail to make a new high we are looking for a potential rotation back down on this market so keep that in mind um, looking left we see that this market after breaking above the 200 moving average on the four hour it been holding above it for a uh, for a while now and that is also a potential uh, signal if you use the 200 moving average on the four hour as your filter which means you wait for a break and close below that 200 moving average then you have your signal that this market is potentially to reverse and then uh, you could start uh, selling it that is the easiest way to play it New Zealand USD same scenario here we uh, we saw this market reaching this previous high and keep in mind that the the last time we tested this level we had this whole push to the downside now that does not mean we're going to get the same push all the way back down but it is a an important resistance and that's why we see the market reacting at this level going down to the 4 hour time frame we saw that we've got an impulse correction another impulse that broke structure and then a retest so I, I was expecting retest and continuation down here I'm still looking for that possibility actually because I'm short uh, this market since the break and the retest here uh, so um, I'm looking for a continuation to the downside and on the one hour time frame it looks like uh, this area here is still uh, an area of interest and as far as there is no break above that I'm still looking for that continuation especially if we break this little um, uh, trend line here uh, on this market that would be uh, nice for the bears for that continuation lower so uh, yeah guys that was it for the youtube version of this video thanks a lot and uh, see you next week bye bye